your neck. Next time I see you, next time I see a letter in the mail. Ah, ah, ah. Hi, it's me, the Audible Blink. And today I'm going to read a One Direction fan fiction. Now, I know, I know what you're thinking. Really? No way! I've never heard him read a fan f bad fan fiction out loud before. I thought he was a Let's Player and posted weird little tiny videos of himself singing. That's true. Anyway, One The Mentor by One Direction Fan Fiction by Pizza Lover. I've already done something by her. Oh, this is amazing. <clears throat> Here's the preface. <laughs> Hi, everyone! So here it is, my second fanfic! Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. I hope that you enjoy this one. Please leave your comments. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. 1D might not be in the first few chapters. I'm still going to have fun with it. But they will be soon, don't worry. Uploads won't be as frequent as my other story, as I'm getting so much more schoolwork this year. But they will be at least once a week and longer than my last one. So, I'll shut up now. On with the story. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Copyright 2012 by Pizza Lover. <clears throat> I am so proud to look down on all your happy faces and welcome you. The headmaster of my school drove Don from where he was as he stood on the stage in the front of my school giving yet another boring speech. Okay, here's, here's an issue. Pacing. That's all I'm going to say. Twirling a lock of my long, dark brown hair along my, around my finger, my chocolate brown eyes. Oh my God. Stop. You do not have to have a paragraph dedicated to introducing your look to the care, because we don't care what you look like. This is clearly for prepubescent girls who have a lady boner for One Direction. We don't care about your stupid brown hair. Jesus. But what about chocolate eyes? Rose! <laughs> Rose? Rosemary Tresdale. Now, you're going to have to give me a second here, because I'm going to Google Tresdale. It's the last name of an actor from Wizards of Waverly Place. And that's it. <laughs> now see, I have an issue on a personal level because why can't you use any other last name than lame ones and ones that aren't like real? Like you can't use like a, a Polish name or like an Indian name. You gotta go with this chick who's later in the story is named Madison Hastings. Like, come on. Come on. I can do better. Flemish. Flemish. No. Flemish. 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 <laughs> okay, Rose. Rose. Rosemary Tresdale, my best friend Madison Hastings whispered, poking me in the side in an attempt to get my attention. So, you had to have your best friend introduce your whole name? Lazy. You're lazy. What? Oh, sorry. Zone out again. I whispered back, tried to regain my focus. I wonder if he's going to announce the winners of that competition, she asked, excitement obvious in her voice. 10 out of 10. Oh, I hope so. It would be amazing if we got on, I exclaimed a little too loudly, getting a few dirty looks from the teacher stood either side of the hall. Stood either side. This, I, this one I have a problem with. Pizza Lover, she pretends she's English and uses like these faux English things, like skipping standing and replacing it with stood. It would be an American from the teachers standing on either side of the hall, but she's like, the teachers stood either side of the hall. Stop it. America's fine, all right? You don't need weird British things. Shh. One of the geeks behind me said, kicking my chair. Oh, shush yourself, I snapped, slouching down in my chair. Damn! <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I'm not exactly what you call a model student. I mean, my grades are quite good, but I have a habit of making a lot of smart-ass comments, getting into the occasional fight, and pissing off just about every teacher in the school. Take... I cut myself on that edge. <laughs> Together, me and Madison are known as, and I quote, 
the badass gals, the student body's name for us. <laughs> That's who they are. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our heroes. Edgelord 1 and Edgelord of the sequel. Really great time out of ten. We're not really mean to people, though. Only if you piss us off. Okay. I'm sure you have great morals. Now, what a lot of you have been waiting for, more information regarding the mentor, Mr. Crowley, the headmaster announced. Crowley, 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 Crowley. Making my head snap up. You see, I go to this musical arts school in the north of England. See, if you went to a school that was a focus... It would be a college or postgraduate, and you wouldn't be calling it a school, but you're retarded. She goes to this musical art school in the north of England, and a few months ago, it was chosen to take part in this new TV show, The Mentor, where a hundred girls and a hundred boys go from the, from the school go to live with a singing superstar for five months. You know, I really have no idea where this is going. Just totally honest. <laughs> And the star gives us all sorts of lessons on singing and our image and stuff. The TV show will mainly just be about our lives with the stars and how I'm bored and how we're going with the training. And then at the end of the five months, we all record a track and the public will vote for our, their favorite, one girl and one boy. Simon Cowell is running, running the show, is he? Is he really? And the winning get, winners get a recording contract with his company, Psycho. Basically, the winners are going to be famous singers, except, of course, every time that reality TV shows say they're going to make famous singers, no one ever hears from them about a month after the reality show starts. For example, America's got talent. Britain's got talent. India's got talent. It doesn't work, man. <laughs> The only problem is there are over a thousand people in the school. Okay. Wow, a thousand people. You have to be over 14 to enter, so that leaves about 800 people left. So it is a school that's a focused school, so a technical school, except it's not a high school because there are people under the age of 14. So it's a technical middle and high school. Where are you getting this? What weird fantasies do you have about learning? Because this, this happened in the last stupid fan fiction you wrote, too. <sighs> and only 200 get on. From the general gossip, about 600 people entered. So I have about a 33% chance of getting in. So, like, that's not a problem. That's, that's, that's a lot better than every other contest. As they say in the Hunger Games, may the odds be, may, may the odds be ever in your favor. Yup. I'm a Hunger Games geek. Don't judge. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to. All right? You can't stop me. And if we get in, we will then be shipped all over the world to work with our mentors. <laughs> I know what that means. <laughs> For example, the person who gets Big Time Rush will go to... Big Time Rush are not singing superstars, all right? Nobody cares about Big Time Rush. The whole point was they're supposed to be super singing superstars. They're pretending to be superstars. And... The person who gets One Direction will go to London, and the person who gets Rihanna... How come Rihanna and Big Time Rush are in the same competition? Like, wouldn't it be someone like Katy Perry, who is literally the most selling musical artist right now? <laughs> she sold more records than anyone ever. The Beatles, Elvis, trumped them. No issue. Like, why wouldn't it be her? And the person who gets Rihanna... Because Rihanna's on a lower scale than uh, Katy Perry, therefore... Therefore, Are you sure? Katy Perry is like the worst. <laughs> according to this logic. This chick. The person who gets Rihanna is apparently being taken to France so they can focus. In France? <laughs> Rihanna. <laughs> Why would you need to go to France? Can't you just... Shut up. Get... Okay. I know that many of you are anxious to see if you got in. And the list of people who will be pinned around the... No, who have will be pinned around the school today. Have a great day. Dismissed, he said, waving, waving his hand as a sign for us to leave. So was this like a... a, a you're not setting anything up, and I'm upset at you. Not, I mean, I'm not going to enjoy a One Direction fan fiction no matter what you do, but... All right. <laughs> oh, God, Rose, let's go! <laughs> Oh, God! Oh, God, Rose, let's go! 
<laughs> Madison cried, grabbing my hand and dragging me through a bunch of 12-year-olds who were looking sad they couldn't enter. Poor things. I'd be pissed if I could. <laughs> he, he's wrong to... Anyway, look there, I screamed, buying a list in the corner. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> look over there! It's like a chasing. Look there! <laughs> I screamed. We ran over it to, to it before anyone else could crowd around and scan the names. <laughs> Hargrison, Haddings, Hastings, Madison Hastings! Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation I got in! Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. She screamed, and we did our own little happy dance. <clears throat> Let me see, I exclaimed, grabbing the list off of her treeb, treason, Tresdale. I'm in! Exclamation point, exclamation point. I screamed, handing the list to someone else and running around in an ecstatic circle. Mads, I'm in! We're in! <laughs> oh, no. Mads is my nickname for Madison. Seen as so, Madison is a mouthful to say. You had to explain to your audience that Mads is short for Madison. <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna be on TV. We exclaimed. And I actually did start crying happy tears because I am a retarded child. This is it, our big break. I'm sure you're really good singers, girls. It says here that everyone who has got in needs to go to the hall at lunch to find out who their mentor is. Imagine of I got one direction, Mads gasped, the realization hitting her. Do you want to read a One Direction fan fiction with us? And now... Mads well, gasped. Looks like we have another competitor coming in. He better not be. <laughs> the realization hitting her. Madison was the biggest 1D fan on the planet. I was a fan too. Their music is great. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. <laughs> Their music's really good. And they seem like really nice people. I'm just not quite as obsessed as Mads. For 1D's sake. Darth Vader, get the fuck out of here. Stop. Right there, stop it. You can still not always in the one D. Okay, back to back to Sorry folks, we had an interruption. Uh, 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 and uh, zombies. Uh, We're only trying to make it better. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not quite as obsessed as Mads. For one D's sake, I sort of hope she hasn't got them. Because, I swear to God, if she gets them, she will skin them and wear their skin as a dress. What have you got next, Madison asked? That wasn't written. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I was Madison asked, calming down just enough to pull her timetable out of her butt and look at it. Ugh, I've got math. See, that's why you're not British. British people say maths because it's short for mathematics. And Americans went like, oh, pluralize is that. And then we didn't, all right? So that means you're not British and you're a liar and you're a liar. How on earth can I concentrate on linear graphs today? Jesus Christ. I'm in a place of higher education. I don't need to hear about linear graphs, you ninth grade women. Apparently you do. She shook her head in despair, her long, thick, light auburn hair. This is, can, can someone please write a One Direction fan fiction where there are two female leads and One Direction is seriously involved, but it's a lesbian like fan fiction and it has nothing to do with One Direction. They're just sort of there. You're not asking the right question. Can someone write a good one for the I'm going to do it. Anyway. <laughs> her long, thick auburn hair falling into her face. That's a nice way of saying she has ginger hair. Although her hair is gorgeous. But she has brown hair. Auburn hair apparently means ginger in her vocabulary. But earlier it said, okay. No, no, they're talking about two different people. Oh. Ugh, so. where is my ruddy timetable? You didn't even use bloody like a normal stereotypical British person. I moaned looking through my bag. Where is my ruddy timetable? You see, we've only been back at school for about a week. And, as, and it's just gone Christmas. That's not even a British thing to say. And I got a new bag and now I can't find anything in it. <laughs> Bingo, I cheered, pulling out the timetable. Now let's have a look-see. First lesson, Wednesday. Ah, poo. <laughs> Physics, 
I sighed, dreading the lesson to come. See, this is not interesting. It's not. That's why she sighed. Ring, the bell telling us to move our butts to class rang, and we both sighed at the same time. We are a high mind. Well, see you on the other side of this life. Meet outside the lockers before lunch so we can go to the hall together, Madison asked, and I nodded. We hugged and went our separate ways. Time to go to the prison, a.k.a. Mr. Carlson's physics room. What are all these names? Carlson. Mr. Carlson. I'll tell you, it was that man's life goal to win me at a comeback contest. What? What? So far, he has never beaten me. A comeback contest? With your teacher? I'm going to have a heart attack. I'm going to do it. Oh, my God. It's hard to continue. I trudged off down the corridor and into the science wing, checking my phone as I went. I hate my phone so much. It looks like it's from the 1800s, where phones weren't a thing. <laughs> and is constantly jamming and shutting off for no reason. Yet, I'm still not allowed a new one. Oh, poo, teacher. So your teacher is the one who buys your phones? Is that what is happening? Is, is he, right. Was this about private school? I don't care. Because if it is, that would... I guess the school buys them? My phone fell into my bag just in time to avoid being spotted, as technically we're not allowed phones in school, as they disrupt our learning. Loud bowl if you ask me. I didn't ask you. You don't matter. But didn't you just say the school buys the That's what I thought she said, but he, she's not a, she's autistic. By the time I got... I have nothing against autism. Just this one person. By the time I got to the classroom, nearly everyone was there lining up outside. I padded, I padded, she padded over to some of her friends. Padded, she, pa she couldn't even walk normal. She had to pad like an animal. My heels clicking on the wooden floor, so the opposite of padding, because padding means you're making like with your feet. And if your heels are clicking, they're like and it just doesn't work. It was sort of my trademark to challenge the school dress code. Really, was it? Are you that hardcore that you want to challenge the school dress code? Really? That's what that is? Oh, she's so hardcore. She's so edgy, bro. Dude, she's so if I ever had to cut myself, I'd use that edge. Throw her off an edge of a cliff. <laughs> it was sort of my trademark to challenge the school dress code, and my signature was wearing black high heels to school. Hey, I need the extra height. I'm only 5'4". Yeah, you're super hardcore, like Jesus Christ. I gotta tell you, yeah, he was hardcore. the most hardcore, absolutely hardcore. The teachers have just about given up telling me to take them off now. You don't need to give up to tell someone to do something. What is your logic, you woman? You don't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> but whatever. Sadly, we had to wear a uniform, and mine consisted of a short black pencil skirt, a tight-ish white skirt, and a neat black blazer with my red tie hanging low around my neck. What can I say? I like to look good. Hey, your tie hanging low is the opposite of what a tie should do. And you know what you're thinking. No, I'm not a slut. I'm 17 and still a virgin. Not 17 for long, though. Why are you... My birthday is in six weeks. Rose! I thought you were hardcore. I bet you don't even do drugs. You guys suck. Rose! A voice called, and I turned to face my friend Vixen. Your friend's name is Vixen! I'm sorry, folks, we seem to have a problem. The audible blink has died from a heart attack. More like several at once. Um, we might have to cut. <laughs> Until next time, bye! <laughs>